the colonies together. Now they knew they wanted it to have the design that you know so well. They wanted the stars, the stripes, and the red, blue, and white colors. However, none of them have a sewing profession. So that was where I came in. I recommended some changes to be able to make the flags a little bit faster. For example, the gentleman wanted the stars to have six points a piece. Well, how many points are on these stars? How many points are on one of them? Five. Five. When I asked those gentlemen why they wanted them to have six points, they told me they thought a six-pointed star was going to be faster to make but they did not have a preference. I told them I can make five-pointed stars, such as these here, much, much faster. And I can show you just as I showed them. I have a feeling you might be just as amazed as they were, although it is not very difficult. All you must do, take a piece of paper or fabric and hold it like you would a book. Then make a few folds, one to the center, another to join the two folded edges together. Flip it over this piece here to the edge until you have this very funny shape. Take your scissors, make one snip, and if you've done it correctly, oh. a bit faster than six, don't you think? Yeah. And you, if you have six, you have to add a point over it at the bottom. Would you perhaps like to keep the star I made? Yes. Thanks for you. Thank you. You're quite welcome. <laughs> Thank you. You're quite welcome. Oh, this is so heavy. Yes, it is. Really heavy. I gave it left it. So. Try doing two and walking all the way from Elfris Alley over here with them. Can you make it? Yeah, mm -hmm. It's a lot of work, isn't it? It's hard work. Yes. It's hard work being a washerwoman. That's what I do for a living. I make my way as a washerwoman. So these are all my different um, all my different utensils that I use to do the washing. Perhaps, perhaps you have one of these in your home. It's a, a bat, yes, to beat your laundry clean. No. Yes. No? no. We, we can spank you with that. <laughs> it is a good it is good for paddling as well, but I don't have any children, so I don't I don't have any children. I just paddle <laughs> my wash. Beat it clean. Very good. And I also use this as a board to scrub. So I'll use my brush to feel this. It's very soft. Yes. Do you know what that is? Do you know what animal that might be? No. It's, a, it's an animal that's very useful. Sometimes you might see them out on the street. They do a lot of work. Is it a cow or is it a squirrel? Well, do squirrels do a lot of work? No. Those squirrels are just pests, aren't they? Did you say cow? Did you say cow? No. No, what did you say? I thought you said cow. I thought he said cat. I said cat. Oh, oh no, cat. it's not a cat. <laughs> I love cats, but no. Um, I don't think their hair would make very good brushes. They're a little too soft. But this is another animal that does, that does a little, a lot of work, lots of work. It pulls things. It's much you can bigger. Ride it. You can ride it's a horse. It. It's a horse. It's horse hair, exactly. Good sir, it's horse hair. And I use this, and I have my soap, which you may smell. It's my good soap. Good. Doesn't it? It smells lovely. I love my soap. And so what I'll do is, after I've beat my, my laundry and loosen the dirt, I'll pull it out, each, each piece of linen, each piece of linen I pull out, and I use my soap to get out the stains, to get, you know, to freshen it. Or I also have this. This is another, I have several different things I use, but I'll let you smell this, see if you know what this is. This is often something you might have in your pantry. It's not alcohol, <laughs> but it's vinegar. Oh. It's vinegar. You can use alcohol. Alcohol that actually is a good is a good uh, stain remover. Um, I don't have any alcohol here, but I do have a recipe. This is my this is my book of receipts. Well, it's pages of a book of receipts, and uh, there's a recipe in here that talks about using alcohol to get out stains. Oh. Yes. Yes, so all sorts of different things you can use to get out stains. And once I've done that, then I'll rinse it in my bucket of water. I'll hang it to dry in my drying rack or on a line on a really pretty day when the sun is out and shining and it's nice and warm. I'll hang it outside to dry. And then I come back the next day and I do the ironing. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it takes 
takes me several days. It takes me anywhere from two and a half to three days to do the washing. And for it, it right now, it takes like about an hour. What? No. It takes an hour. Right now? Right now, it takes me two days <laughs> to three. Well, it, back in uh, in Jersey, when you, it actually takes an it takes only an hour to wash. Wow. I should go live in Jersey. <laughs> well, it it's around. The, it takes. Well, it's around the world. It's a pet. It, it's around the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I wish it took me an hour, <laughs> but it doesn't take me an hour. It takes me more than that, sadly. Uh -huh. But that's how I make my living. Oh, yes, I go okay. to. I go from house to house. Whoever will hire me. Thank you. You're very welcome. Enjoy this.